YouTube and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to wire a couple of LEDs in series which means if one of the LEDs are taken away or short out or uh, go out that it won't work so if I pull this out so it won't work here are the materials that you're going to need LEDs these are mandatory resistors you can use a breadboard like this or you can just solder them together but why will why waste LEDs and resistors if you're just going to test stuff out so I suggest to use a breadboard which you can pick up at usually any local electronics parts dealer store next thing you're going to want to do is figure out uh, what kind of resistor you need so first of all it depends on how many LEDs you're going to put in and in this one in this particular one I'm going to put in three so I'm going to I went into Google and I typed in LED calculator and it brought me to this site right here um, LED linear one dot org and I click the LED series slash parallel array wizard and in here I typed the info so I needed three LEDs and the source voltage that means this thing whatever you're using for the power the battery the AC adapter you put in that which was 12 volts and each usually each 5 millimeter LED is 3.5 volts it could be less but it that doesn't really matter you could put 3.2 so yeah I put that in and for the diode forward voltage usually you don't want to go above 20 because they probably won't be able to handle that and it'll decrease the life of the LED a lot more so around 10 to 15 is probably okay and you want to check this help with resistor color codes and click design my array once that comes up it'll come up with this and it's a really easy diagram to follow just have the 12 volt the positive here plus minus plus minus plus minus and then you have the resistor here and the resistor I'm gonna be using today is uh, 100 ohms and right here it says that the color code for it is brown black brown resistor is brown black brown and that gold doesn't really matter that just shows the tolerance of the LED so once you have all that um, yeah you're pretty much set to do it and first of all you need to know the polarity of an LED and the polarity of an LED is based on well if you're using an, a brand new LED you'll know the polarity by the longer end and the shorter end and or you can tell it from the actual LED I don't think I, you can see it on camera but on an LED there's a side that has a flattened edge on it like on the side and the flattened edge points towards the negative side so on this one the flattened edge is on here and it goes down and it that the shorter pin is the negative side and this is the positive side so when you're wiring your LEDs you gotta make sure that the polarity is correct and on a breadboard this is how a breadboard works there's all these rows of little tiny holes to put stuff in and just pretend that these holes are connected this way they're connected horizontally so if you plug something in here like that and you also plug in something say beside it hold on, let me just grab something to plug in, you plug this in beside it on the same row then it'll basically be able, it'll basically be like you're soldering these two together so if you want to connect anything just put them on the same row so what we're gonna do is take one of the LEDs and we know that this side's negative that we know this side's negative and this side's positive so we're gonna put in the positive, see what we're gonna do is put the positive on one row and the negative on another row and you can start from here so you have enough room for the other one so just want to stick it in like that and then take another LED take the positive attach it to the negative by putting them on the same row and then put the negative on the next row over or above it and then take the last LED and put the positive to the negative of this one and the negative on another row once that's one once that is done you want to connect the resistor and put that on either you, you can put it on anywhere in this row because it's all connected so you can just put it 
stick it in right there twist it around and you can put it anywhere in these ones you want it doesn't really matter just so just stick it somewhere like that you just want to connect it to this one the first positive the first LED and just okay, let's see if I can get it with one hand and then take the negative one make sure that it's straight and you want to stick it anywhere in the row of this one just like that right and just to test it out you just plug this in the wall and see if you have light so I'm just gonna plug it in and boom we have light and yep that's how you wire a couple of LEDs in series and later on I'll teach you how to uh, wire them in parallel which is good if um, it doesn't like now if one of them one of these burns out all the LEDs will turn off but if you wire them in parallel then if one of them uh, like dies on you then these other ones won't turn off which is good if you're gonna do something that's gonna use permanent LEDs and you're not gonna just use it for playing around and stuff thank you and subscribe to my channel